so this is gonna be my crew first time raising sail. I think I'm a great teacher. The best one in the world. This was clear to me at this point. Nicest cabin. Uh, we'll be there soon. So this is gonna be my crew first time raising sail. Uh, it's Angelica's first time raising sail. After we're gonna introduce you to the camera, we'll make like a short where you're from and stuff like that. But for now, we're gonna raise sail. Let's see if I touch her right. Okay, camera's ready. Let's see how it's looking. All right, all right. So the deal is, this is a jib sheet and I'm gonna pull while Angelica releases. So you ready? Ready. Okay, I'm pulling. Jib is coming out. Uh -huh. I would say that's about enough right there. So hold what you have, Angelica. All right, so we're gonna put a little... And that's it. We got a jib. It's flickering in the air. Needs a little tighty tighty. All right, baby. Now he's happy. Kind of a happy jib. What's going on, baby? Uh huh. Esa. Esa. Angelica learning how to do her line. I'm a good captain, or what to teach you? Of course you are. I think I'm a great teacher. The best one in the world. See, there's true words from a crew, you know. I think I'm the best teacher ever. I'm so gentle, you know, I give instructions, I never yell. I didn't pay her nothing, people. She just says it. It's all true. For free. For free. Alright. Look at that. Even better than I would do. Ah, you get a five star, buddy. We're going to look at uh, a 1989 Lagoon uh, catamaran. It's very special in the sense that the owner had made extensive refit and remodeling to the boat. Uh, he had turned her into a cutter rig. He had removed the original uh, transom helm station. There was there was a dual helm station, and he had like he made one helm station that's a little bit forward of the cabin which is really good for me. That's one of the things I'm looking for. Uh, the boat is old and it's over budget, but if it's the right cat, it's also doable. I'm really excited to show it to you guys and uh, we'll be there soon. The owner of this catamaran was not around. His friend got to show us the catamaran. He knew a lot about the boat, so that was good. Which year did he install uh, and uh, oh, I think it's that. That's that's feedback just to tell you the angle where the rudder is. Yeah. How clean is fuel? Yep. Um, fuck man. Sorry. My it's engine. everything's easy. It's easy. I can accessible. fucking sit here. My engine is. <laughs> I have a monohull, a hunter that I sailed from uh, Georgia. Uh huh. And uh, yeah. From know. Georgia, US? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Georgia, Europe, that would be quite a trip, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so it's Cleanest build for an engine that I had ever seen. What's that? No, I'm just talking to the camera saying that it's super clean. Oh. It has AGM batteries. <laughs> I <laughs> do
Okay, we'll get to that later. I don't want to get this. <laughs> the temptation. Uh, this side or another side? Yeah, that's the side fine. He, uh, he designed everything. He designed the windows. It's all carbon fiber. Now, here's what was going on in my mind. Now, this is a really nice catamaran. It has been personally designed for the owner's taste. Now, it's great for him, except it's not so great for me. This is the fancy chair. This is the comfy chair. This is the comfy chair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean this boss chair, <laughs> come on, it sounds a bit lonely. I think I want a sofa up there like a cuddle with friends. Nah, 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 I don't want Angelica. Angelica. Because she's like an angel. 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 Uh, and then across the Caribbean Sea between... Uh, you didn't go to Cuba? No, oh, I was between there. Cuba and uh, Haiti. Away from Nicaragua. <laughs> when I sailed down here from Nicaragua, man, I had some crazy st stories. I was, I was with my ex-partner. And yeah, like, we were spotted by fishermen. And anyways, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. fucking rough, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you so know, it's not a good area. It, it, just, just, a little, just a little side story. We were about on the sail from San Blas to here. We were about 14 nautical miles offshore from uh, uh, Foca. And 7 a.m. in the morning, we see a lancha, an open lancha with five big guys, you know? And I'm like, and they're dressed not like fishermen. And they're out in the ocean, 14 nautical miles. I grab my Iridium Go, I hit the SO, SO button, uh, but I called one of my contacts. I'm like, listen, you know, they stopped their boat and now they are trailing behind us. And so I dropped my sail, I put on my motor, I did, um, I have like a pirate routine where I have a sacrifice, you know. Take them, take the fucking money, take them, yeah, just don't yeah. take my boat. <laughs> yeah. And I have like, I, ha I have a pistol on board, but I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking use it. Five fucking people, yeah, they just shoot a, a hole in my boat. Yeah. And if you have a pistol, they got an AR-15 or something. Exactly, I'm like, I would only use it if it's uh, like, right. you know, if they wanna fucking take yeah. my group. If they've got a knife, Right, and then, yeah, then, then I have the upper hand. But anyway, so I got that ready, just in case I hit it well, and they trailed after us for like 15 minutes and they left. I was wow. like, what are the chances? God, thank you, you know? By that point, we're like 35 nautical miles close to Boca del Toro, and I just motored all the way. <laughs> yeah, I shut down everything. When, even when I'm off the coast here, going to uh, San Blas, I shut all my lights off. Me I, too. I turn off Me my too. transmitter on my sure. AIS and everything. Yeah. I just at nighttime, yeah. But I this just was go dark. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. When I'm sailing, I, you know, outside you tell or you do say, oh, they shut my engines off. Yeah, my lights off. You know. Just this catamaran personal taste was one of the main drawbacks. I just couldn't fit it into my own plans, and I had to create something personal of my own. This was clear to me at this point. Wow, I mean, this had to be the nicest cabin I saw on a catamaran. This dude had really customized his boat the way he likes it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I thought about buying this catamaran. It was in my price range and was also in the right place to start doing charter in the sandblast areas. Just leave. Isn't it crazy? Oh, Study my logical brain control. says this was a good boat yeah, to start my new sailing journey curve. but my heart was telling so me that this like boat was beautiful but it was not for me and i had to listen yeah. to my heart and the search goes on 